up, what's going on? You already know, it's Remo and Brack, man. Pull up here, she a homie. Alright, what uh, up, Wayne Podcast? Y'all know yeah. how I do, I pull up everywhere, pull up where I can, I'm gonna get this interview real quick. Y'all gonna just see the process and all that, you heard? Ah, early! It's again. This week, I got my boy Remo with me, man. I got the homie yeah. Remo. What's up, Remo? What's going on? Ah, ha. You know how it go when you hit a hot go. It's Remo Marac. Remo's in the building, yeah, man. Yeah, what's going on? We live out here, man. We live, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, what's going on? Yo, we just going to start off. We're going to get right into it, man. Tell the people who you are. Who is Remo? Man? Yay. What's going on, y'all? Y'all already know this is award-winning executive producer, media personality, uh, oof, event host. A whole, a whole slew of things in entertainment. I'm about to say, you know what? Scratch that. Entertainer who loves, you know, media and hip-hop culture. You know, who loves doing it. You know, I've been in the game for 10 years. Uh. Um, but these last five years, I've been involved heavily in media. Okay. And, I, and I love what I do at the end of the day. That's dope. Yes, That's yes, dope. yes, yes. That's dope, man. That's dope. Yes. Well, again, man, thank you for kicking in with me today, man. Hey, listen, listen, it. listen, man. It, man. Listen, you guys... You know, the up up and comers are, are the ones that motivate me hardcore. I'm not the type. I'm not the competitive type. Um, and I and I don't mean that. Oh, you know, I'm still not gonna bring the pain. I'm still not gonna bring the fire. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm still not gonna let the ruga spray. But you know, I appreciate y'all because y'all keep my focus very yeah, high. You know what I'm saying? And it, and and I have no problem telling you guys tools of the trade or thereof. You know. I have no problem guiding you. You know what I'm saying? Because you guys are in the same culture as me. Mm -hmm. You guys are within mm -hmm. my culture. I, I, and, for, and for me, you know, I, I, I make sure I maintain myself doing that. Because I don't want... Because for me, I don't want it to be that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be that dude. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of dudes in this game now. Mainstream and independent. That are that dude that, in a that sense. Guy, like, right? I, they just don't want to pay it forward. Or they just want to hide it to yourself so they can still be relevant. And it's like, yo, you don't even realize you're hurting your own culture. Like, why not tell that next one that's coming up? The tidbits. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Why not tell that one, all right, yo, you know, when you do your radio show, make sure the sound is okay. Right. Or, or even for that matter, even from a production standpoint. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, make sure, you know, the head space, the headroom, you got the headroom. Absolutely. Make sure your wide angles, you know the difference of angles and stuff, or whatever the case may be. Right. You know, because you never know. Right, right, right. You know, so that's what I always have in my mindset. That's, that's real, that's real. So, like, you you touched base on something real quick. You, you touched base on the culture. What is the culture to you? What is that culture? Listen, man, I, I, I'm strongly about, you know, it's, you go from hip-hop culture to the media culture mm -hmm, to... Mm -hmm art culture in general. I'm always on an artist standpoint. Okay. Yes, my background, yes, my other background is in education as a teacher. Okay. Oh, we, but, we definitely going to touch yeah, base we, on that. Yeah, yeah, we are. We That's facts. Facts. No, we can do that. <laughs> we going to do, do that. that. <laughs> but I wholeheartedly feel, I look at the culture as, it, it's always going to evolve. When you look at it as an artist standpoint. Right. Not as a human standpoint, but as an artist standpoint. You understand that Things are meant to evolve. Yes. Okay. Yes. So with the culture itself, let's say, let, we can we can touch on hip hop culture. A lot of okay, people, a lot of things that burn me is that we majority of us mm -hmm. or we in general we get it confused and forget that hip hop itself mm. is the art. Amen. Okay. Rap, rap or rap music for that matter is the craft. Yes. That that falls under the art. Okay. So it's almost an, an uh, equivalent to, let's say, illustration. Mm. Okay. Okay. But what falls under illustration is the cartooning. Okay. Is the sketching. Is, you know, it, there's certain packets that fall underneath illustration. Okay. So if, let's say, things are not going right in our cartooning, is one, as an artist, going to say, illustration's whack? You're not going to say that. You no. know what I'm saying? So now, flip it on now to the hip-hop culture... Okay, there's many sub packets under the hip hop culture, but just because one aspect of the culture right. is not up to par, or is not up to many or whomever's okay bar or standard, it doesn't mean that it, it uh, in entirety or itself is whack. 
Okay. You know, and, and that kind of burns me in a sense because what you're saying is, uh-huh. besides the rap music, you're saying the dancing's whack. You're saying everything. You're whack. saying the art. Right. The podcast. What, what, what up, Wayne? Podcast. And that Re- shit ain't whack. whack. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Put it out there right now. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. You know, the shows, the movies, you know, the dances, the clothing. There's mad other sub packets right. that you're saying is whack. And that shit, and that shit burns the shit out of me. Yeah. And it's like, yo, I, I'm sick and tired of it. I'm not gonna, I'm, t- I'm me, I'm sick and tired because mm. I'm not gonna lie. Right. I, I'm not gonna go ahead and go, okay, rap music has its ups and downs, mm-hmm. or I'm not gonna say, okay, rap music doesn't have substantial mm. music. But let's not go on it and on a whole stand. Oh, it's whack. And and hip hop is whack, and it's like dogs. They don't do that shit in jazz. Nope. You don't, they, they don't say that shit in jazz. They don't say that shit in rock and roll. Nope, they nope, don't nope, say that nope, shit nope. in fucking opera. They don't say it in classical music. They don't say it in fucking country music. Why the fuck in hip hop? Right. Okay. We feel that because one aspect is not up to your par, not you in general. But I'm just saying, yeah, as yeah, the indiv- yeah. it's not up to the individual's par or many individuals' par, mm-hmm. but. All of a sudden, the whole thing is whack. That's why, if you look on my social media, mm. as of late, I'm gonna say, and when I say as of late, I'm gonna say in the last year or so. Okay. Since my five years in media, okay, I've been putting up videos showing, like, yo, the culture's not whack. Mm-hmm. Okay. The, uh, the, my latest video I put up was the um, these twins. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, yeah. In a dancing Canada, competition, I think they're from like sweet, like the Swedish twins or something like that. These two black girls. That yeah, like right. That. Yeah, right. Man. And they're killing it. Murder. And, and the message I put in the caption was, you know, the majority say that the culture's dead, mm. but how can it be if this is happening? Right. So the culture's not dead. Yeah, it ain't dead. It's not dead. It's just a certain a- uh, 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 aspect of it is not what it what, it's, what it could be. Mm. Mm. You know, it's an art form. It's meant. To, it's meant to evolve. If you look at it on that standpoint, a lot of people don't want to look at things on an art- artist standpoint. Even the artists themselves, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Right. They like to rock the fence. But if you really take it on an artist standpoint, mm-hmm. okay, or artist mindset, right, and really break it down for what it is, you're not gonna you're gonna stop really seeing the fuck shit. Right. That that hip hop is whack. I, I'm sorry, I don't think it's whack. It's, it's not whack at all. You know what I'm saying? And and, and again, it's, it's the culture. You know what I'm saying? Because it like I, I I remember seeing something on social media as well where it's like some some like some white kid talking about how. Um, Lil Pump or, or so like, and, and it's not to shit on none of these new cats that's coming out, but like one of the like Lil Pump or whatever, the, one of these white guys that's rapping say rap culture, and I was just like, yo, this, this little motherfucker don't shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. oh, you know, he saved rap culture. If it wasn't because of his song uh, or whatever song it was, SoundCloud would have been um would would have um crashed and all that type of stuff and all. This, and I'm just like, but yeah, but look at the but look at the avenue of bullshit that's been opened up. <laughs> and I'm like, because, what? Because, Are you because, saying because, it? Right. I'm like, what? Oh, look at the app. No, but look at the avenue of bullshit. Yeah. But look what like, that. Yeah. But look what that resonates from. Okay. Yes, resonates. Mm. Um, we're gonna we're gonna get a lot of vocabulary, today, brother. <laughs> Little SAT words. Okay. Right? You're gonna get some shit to me today. <laughs> look where it resonates from. If you have an abundance of people, right, within the culture, right, constantly saying, "Oh, hip hop's whack. Hip hop's whack. Hip hop's whack. Mm-hmm. Hip hop's whack." What the what the fuck do you think is gonna follow up? You get what I'm saying? Right. What the fuck do you think is gonna follow up? From everybody saying hip hop's whack, hip hop's this is whack, this is whack, this is whack. Right, You're right. gonna get another person that's gonna come out their ass mm-hmm. and feel, oh well, I'm the Messiah because I did this. No fucking no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm sorry. And it, and, it, and I'm gonna bring another analogy again. Uh, what's that analogy? What's it's up? equivalent to look at the murders that happen. Mm. Okay, okay. Mm. When the news negatively shows it nonstop. Right. What do you think happens? A motherfucker sees it as, okay, oh, you know what? That's my golden opportunity. I'm going to do something like this. Mm. Mm. Look, at, look, at, look at the Columbines. Look at the Sandy Hooks. Yeah. The Virginia joint. Right. All because of why? When it happened. Because the news kept repeating it over and over in a, negative, in a yeah. negative standpoint. Mm-hmm. And what that next person saw was, okay, mm-hmm. since... He is showing it, and it's okay. I'm going to go out like a champ. I'm going to go out like a champ, and I'm going I'm to I'm I'm copycat. I'm a pre- mm-hmm. So it's the same thing now, mm-hmm. as far as with the hip-hop culture. 
But people keep fucking saying over and over mm-hmm. in abundance right. that, oh, hip-hop's whack. Hip-hop's right. dead. Hip-hop's not cool. It's not what it was anymore. Da 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 da. So yeah, so, you, so stop it. Stop the fuck shit. Right. Okay. It, yeah, that's it, real. That's real. Nah, that's real. It's just, I, I, it's just I, stop the fuck shit. Yeah. I, I agree with you. I agree with you. I definitely see where you're coming from. But just to digress a little bit now. So like, you started your career over ten years ago at this point. Yeah, yeah, right. right. <laughs> it's been it's been a minute. <laughs> so I, right. I'm just curious for you to take me back to like the beginning. Like how like oh, I want you to talk to me a little bit about like man when you was just. Moving through the trenches, you know, Man. like trying to make the name for yourself right, that you well, have now. So, like, right, let me, what, let me, take me down oh, memory lane. Let me, let me, let me adjust, Ad- adjust the mic. The mic. <laughs> let me lean back the chair a little bit because, <laughs> shit, Jesus. Like, story time. <laughs> All right. So, I started out in 2007. Okay. Um, prior to that, I was trying to have a career in basketball. Okay. That got cut short mm-hmm. around 2001, 2002 due to injuries. Okay. So, I was going to college, I was a computer science major or whatever, but all in all in my life, because my family's background was always involved in entertainment, uh, you know, my so aunt is is a legend in the game, her name is Pat Evans, you can okay. Google it, she did things with the Ohio players, she was on the cover of one of their main um, albums okay. that that really popped, um, I think it was the, um, it was the Honey album, I, I think the album was called Honey, I'm not too sure, mm-hmm. I know of the Ohio players, but I don't know the exact, exact right. album, but if you Google it, you'll see you'll my see, aunt, you'll see his um, from also too, if, to my understanding, she was the first African American model to do the whole bald, mm. like thing, because, the, ball look, and everything the like ball look and all that, all right, all right. Um, you know, she was the, if, she I, had, if, I, if <laughs> I had to say in my family, she was like the, the pinnacle. Like, okay, because okay. okay. she did it. She's been in the game. She did yeah. modeling and stuff like that. My mom did some TV work in regards to uh, modeling. Okay. And she had, like, a public access show like I do now. Cool, cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, Who else? My brothers, they were heavy involved in the rap game as far as, like, um, they used to work for, uh, the, you know, those trucks? They used to be wrapped up. With all the rappers on, like that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That, 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 was, that was my brother's. And, oh, and them okay, group. okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? They were called Drive By. You all know right. what I'm saying? Um, you know, two of my brothers, they they were part of that crew, and um, you know, they involved in that. Um, you know, heavily. Like even my nieces and them, my my bro, uh, my older brother's um, wife. Yeah. His father is Don Covey. Wow. And that's a rock and roll hall of famer. Of course. You know what I'm saying? So it, I, it's, it's never been a time in my life from, shit, if I had to say in my existence, from like five mm-hmm. years old till now. That you haven't been exposed to entertainment at all. Right. You know, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I, li- I did live a regular life as mm-hmm. far as like a kid. I did go to public school. I did go and things, but to not to say, okay, I never went to a fashion show. Right. I never saw an entertainer right. that my aunt knew. Like, I'm talking like Leonard Nimoy, mm. or Isaac Hayes. Like, mm. I... You know what I'm saying? And um, I don't know if the restaurant is still open in Midtown. It was a restaurant called O'Neill's. Okay. Which is like, I think around the um, the fashion district. Right. Or the garment district. You know what I'm saying? And I used to see them. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm talking like the, the A-listers from the 80s and 90s. I used yeah. to see them because our aunt, like she, you know, and shout to Pat, you know, Aunt Pat, you know, she's still doing the thing. That's what's up. Not, but not as far as an energy, but she does her thing. She's you know, she's thing. chilling yeah. now. Right. You know, she's in the Pocono and stuff like that. You know? <laughs> Living life. <laughs> right. So I, I think the beautiful thing about that, though, is like, you know, you were able to have someone kind of show you an alternative life. You know what I'm yes. saying? So like, I, I always say like, you know, like for me, like I have so much family that's in like the medical field. So right. for me, when I was growing up, you know, it was inevitable. It was, it was like inevitable, inevitable for like you were going the to... medical field. I want to be a nurse. I want to be a doctor and everything like right. that. So for you, like having entertainment, you, you being surrounded by the entertainment field, you kind of realize that was much more tangible than you expected it to be. Yeah. In that sense, you know? Yeah. So that's, that's yeah. really dope. And then, so I'm going to fast forward it now. Mm-hmm. So 2007 is when, you know, it, all, all up in my upbringing, people mm-hmm. were always like, yeah, he got to be in TV. Okay. You know, shockingly, I did, when I was a kid, I was like runner up in Sesame Street. I could have been the Sesame Street kid. Oh, what? But, I, but I was crying. You know, I had that story <laughs> is I was crying too much and stuff like that. It's like, you nah, know, we can't have this kid. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? So, but... Fast forward yeah. now, it's still about 2007. So now I'm, yeah. I'm already out of college. I'm 27. Yeah. You know, I said, all right, you know what? Let me let me do some background work in acting. Let, mm-hmm. let me try to give it a push. Mm-hmm. You know, because at 27, you're really, you are thinking creatively, but you're not per se 
on it, on it like that. Okay. So okay. I just got the push. I was like, you know what? Six out of people, like, forcing me to do it. Or whatever the case may be. You know what? Fuck it. Let's give it a let's, chance. Let's, let's, let's do go. It. Let's do it. And I, I'm not going to lie. At first, it was kind of cool. It was all right. I got to learn the ropes. I respected TV and film okay. at a whole new level because I was behind the scenes. I was seeing how they set a scene up and stuff like that. Right. And everything like that. But, you know, I had an up and down career. I'm mm-hmm. not going to lie. Mm-hmm. Uh, for about, let's see, 2007 to about 2012. Okay. It was up and down. Okay. Then I said, okay, you know what? My reel came to me. Mm-hmm. By that time, I was like 31, mm-hmm. 32. I was like, you know what? Let's go to the Department of Education. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, you know, <laughs> let me look I have a foundation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> let me get, because, you know, the funds are a little low. low. I've been spending a little <laughs> lot of bread. You know what I'm saying? I've been trying to, like, really get to the pinnacle of my career. Like, yes, want to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was really only locally here. <laughs> Dope. You know what I'm saying? Right. But um, I just said, you know, all right, you know what? Let's get serious. Let's buckle down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll get he. I I knew I'll get back to where I'm at. Absolutely. Eventually. So, so how was that feeling though? Like, cause cause I feel like you know for you, you know you probably had that resilience. You had that drive to continue to move forward. So like, right. How was that process for you to kind of be like, you know what? Let me take a step back real quick and just like establish something, establish foundation, and then get back to it. That's what I'm saying. I had like CEO Memphis Blink. It was like it was like. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like she got loose footage. It got corrupted in Google Drive. No, somebody took my shit, and and then they're acting <laughs> funny. Like it was kind of some roommate shit, and I, I was like, I knew where I had my SD cards, and I was just like, okay, they want to play with me. They, it was just some shit where I fuck you up. You know what I'm saying? Then all of a sudden it's gone. I'm like, who took it out my camera? Like one of y'all took it out my camera. You know what I'm saying? And then it was like. It was some petty shit, but like I wanted to give up because I had so yeah. many interviews, like like that, of legendary artists on there, and it was just like damn. That the whole should, point of should, starting over it just threw that me should off. Be hurting you. Yeah. Can't sleep, can't eat. Like I said, they fucked up. Everything is fucked up. You be walking around. I was gonna burn the apartment down, you know, but I didn't want to go to jail. So you know, stop doing <laughs> shit. Everybody would have been out like, without a house. I really was gonna burn the apartment down. But you know what though, you gotta look at you gotta you gotta look at um. When things happen like that, they're supposed to happen. That's what I said. Cause then I'm to get to like, I ended up in that whole week, just everything. I just ended up losing everything. But then I got a kickstart in the whole better situation. But I don't look at it really as a loss. You feel me? Like now, I used to. My editing is better now. Like you know, from that footage anyway. It's much what do you use? Final Cut. I use Final Cut, uh, Avid, and um, what's the other one? I use Final Cut. I movie. I love it. Premiere is the best. I hate Avid. I hate Avid. Well, you like Avid too? I learned that's what I use in school because that's what they awesome. use in broadcasting. Oh. Like they use ads. But that, that's two, and you like. like I, do, I, use oh, well, I like, haven't used Premiere. Everyone keeps telling me about it's it. It's easy and simple. I don't worry about the bills. I don't worry about signing the shit. I don't worry about the bills. I drop, drag, yeah, drop. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm learning to edit that. Like, oh, if you don't have certain things, you have to open it with certain drives. You have to open certain drives. It is a lot. Premiere has it because I film on the iPad. Oh. So I eliminate. That's ill. Shit. That's ill that you see. Yeah, that's why I like the iPad. iPad. I'm, I'm asking with the phone too, though. I do it with the iPad. <laughs> I film with the iPad. Use the iMovie for like, you know. Just the iMovie, to, yeah. Just to straighten it up. It's good. Then I do Final Cut. Oh, that's do Final too. Cut. And then sure. Final Cut, it just, just so gets weird. good. That's but so I did it, right? I was doing it one day. I was um, that's the I thing. was uh, into, I was at the uh, Brooklyn Hip Hop. Yeah, what's up? What's going on? You already know. It's Remo Marac, man. As we know, travel the culture, travel all around, man. But nonetheless, man, we got a few shooters in here. We're going to talk about some things. Shooter's Life segment, season four finale. You heard? Hot early. What's up? What's going on, y'all? Like I said, man, this is the Shooter's Life round table. Yeah, we got square tables, but it's a round table discussion here about this culture, about this filming culture. Nonetheless, we're going to go from the left to the right. Young lady to the left, what's your name? What you do? What you about? <laughs> you already know who it is. It's Jackie LA in the motherfucking building with LA in the streets. <laughs> All right, next. All right, what's up, everybody? It's your favorite Barry, Host Mo Barry. You can find me on the gram at host underscore Mo Barry. Woo! Yes, yes. Let's go. <laughs> it's just regular, but my name is David Tavares, and I'm representing Cinematic Brothers, so I'm one of the videographers. Directors, writers, actors, I'll just do everything. You know, I'm not good at everything, but I'll do everything. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Thank you. 
Bravo Captain representing Heroes Headquarters, HHPOV, Hip Hop Point of View. If we can get there, we be there. Okay. <laughs> All right, next. My name is Shantae Bailey. I am the owner of Tay Bailey TV Media. Okay. I'm a multimedia journalist, a mm -hmm. writer, and I tell dope stories. All right. And finally, <laughs> yes, sir. I play my most basic. Yeah. <laughs> Nikwell James, Mac with extra sauce. I am an actor, model, and writer. You can follow me on Instagram at Nikwell James. All right, <laughs> all right. Now, now let's let's get the, now in the pre pre production, the pre shooting. You know, I definitely was getting heavy with it. You know, conversating about this culture. Nonetheless, this culture is a a, a thing. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's something important in the independent industry. You know, as technology advances. Um, you know, more and more people want videos. More and more people want to be famous. More and more people want to be seen. You know, and they and, and they're gonna come to us. You know what I'm saying? And I say us because me, I, I ain't gonna lie, I'm still I'm a rookie at this. I'm gonna keep it a buck, I'm a rookie at this. People think, oh, Remo's a vet videographer. No, I'm still a rookie in this, you know what I'm saying? I, but I I'm doing this as my you know, my season finale episode because I respect y'all. Co heartedly. I I'm not gonna lie, son. The loss of sleep <laughs> the worrying about where's my hard drive, the 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 making a mistake on the edits, you know what I'm saying? Like every whole shebang. But nonetheless, I want people to really understand y'all stories and really understand about what it takes to make great content. So I'm gonna start off with the first question. You know, anybody could come and answer it. What do you feel is a necessity? For our culture to 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 improve, and what do you feel is okay for it right now? Who wants to touch on that question first? A story. I'm gonna say necessity. It's right. Necessity. Yeah. Yeah. No. Real, no. Real shit. Okay. Yeah. Bravo. Number one is history. Okay. You know what I'm saying you can't get involved in anything if you don't know where it began and where it started. Right. You know what I'm saying and what's its foundation. Right. So that. I want to say it off for of that. Okay. And um, it's funny because I hate talking about this subject all the time because I get into big arguments with a lot of people and everything. But, like, I literally grew up in the culture. Like, right. Like, grew up, grew up, you know. Right. Like, I had a uh, kid Capri down the block, nice smooth over here. Uh, my homeboy's uh, sister used to date ski beats. He used to bring Jay around the way, and my brother and my cousins was uh, driving and working with Fat Joe, and you know what I'm saying? And this is at the beginning, at the beginning of, before it became the thing to do. Before all of this fame, and you knew you could make this much money and be this famous and this rich and mm -hmm. this successful. You know what I'm saying? This was when it was just basically, you know, a hobby, but... You was getting paid off of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's the it, it, it's history. You know okay. what I'm saying? You gotta have some type of some type of respect, some type of knowledge okay. for the history. You ain't gotta know everything. Mm -hmm. but you gotta know you gotta know some things, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know a Karis one song. Mm -hmm. You know you feel what I'm saying? Like yeah, just just know, day, so. know something to <laughs> show. Know something so when somebody asks you a question, mm -hmm. you can give them a decent answer. Okay. Uh -huh. who, who, wants, who wants to follow up on that? Uh, I, I mean, it depends on the history because I can be totally honest. I'm a 90s baby. So if it wasn't played in my house by my mom or dad, I could not recite it. So if it ain't Biggie or Tupac, <laughs> those are the, the, the... But now, if you talk about like Big Daddy Kane, or, or, you say like Big Daddy Kane or KRS-One or uh, Naughty by Nature or people like that, like I couldn't tell you. But... I don't know all this, but I can tell you at least one Biggie song, at least a few Tupac songs. So, okay. No history is good, but it depends on your history is based off what what generation you was born into. Okay. I think that's the, the easiest way to say it because I can't I can't tell you shit about slavery because right I don't know anybody that was there. Right. So I can't tell you shit about it except for what I read. So but you read books about it. Right. But you know that you know that books, but yes. But you know that slavery existed. Yes. That's what <laughs> that's not existed. So so that's that's the thing. Yeah. Like a lot of people, a lot of a lot of the youngins that come into it, 
they think that it's on, it only started because they got into it. Right. So if they see a vet or somebody that paved that way, they can't even say what's up to them because they have no idea. And, mm-hmm. it, and, it, and it's not all their fault. Yeah. It's also whoever was whoever was around them to teach them too. You had to have an OG. That OG you had to have an OG. Also, where you're from too, because I grew up in Florida half my life, and people in Florida didn't listen to Jay Z or Biggie. Or but you know, Trick Daddy. Major. Yeah, you had Trick Daddy, you know, Luke Crunch, you had Uncle Luke. You, you had, see, uh, I can't think of any Florida rappers. Trick Daddy. I was, I was, yeah, that's all you get. Yeah, Trick Daddy. I was going to say Trick Daddy. Is that that name? Is that No, he's ATL. So I'm saying, like, it depends on Atlanta. You had, um, Dun- Dungeon? You want the Dungeon Family? Dungeon Family. Uh, Outcast. That's it. But see, but see, yeah, though, but each, each region has, has its, some type of, history. some type of history and yeah. some type of father figure for, for the culture to go back into. So it's not necessarily... Um, where you at? It's just about like exploring. Okay, I'm from uh, I'm from North Dakota. Let me find out who the first North Dakota rapper was. You know what I'm saying? So right. they ask you something, you can speak mm-hmm. about where you came from and who put okay. it down for you. Yeah, that's it. But right, so yeah, I, but on the history, but on a, on a, on another note too, can can we want? Can we also say as far as within the videography, the media support, culture, and stuff like that? Which is true, what you're saying within music and stuff, but in the media culture, support culture, you know, shouldn't we also implement that as well? Because we're in, we're in, we're in, we're in an era right now where it's a, it's a microwave era. So it's like, if you see, okay, this cat did it on an iPhone, this one did it on a Sony, this one did it on a Canon, you know what I'm saying? A lot of cats is not really trying to waste time to really learn that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, on that note, who wants to take on that? Ladies, y'all kind of quiet. Which one Which one of y'all want to take on? Well, I want to piggyback a little bit okay. you know, back um, in terms of what's necessary. Yes. I definitely feel that um, creativity is necessary. Because if you're not creative and you don't have a creative mind, then nothing's going to happen, nothing's going to work. Right. Especially, um, I don't consider myself a videographer, even okay. though I do... Video work. work, right? But I'm a multimedia journalist, so right. if I'm shooting this cantaloupe, my job is to make it look like the biggest and the best cantaloupe that you know there is. Mm-hmm. So that's what I think is definitely necessary. You know, creativity. Okay, Jackie. You know, I'm gonna add on to that too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we got history. Let's everybody. Add on. We got history. She said creativity. Mm-hmm. You say partially a little history with anything that you're doing. I think you just gotta have ambition. You know, passion. with like ambition, passion, and right. the energy is just going to flow. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I feel like a lot of people may not know the history, but they shit is coming out good. They're still producing good content. Right. And as a content curator, it's like, you just, it's just an energy in what you're doing. If you really believe in what the fuck you do, your shit's going to come out dope. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I... I, I don't I don't I don't know like as for me it's like I don't just say I'm a journalist or I'm media I'm an all around entertainer right you feel me so with having so many different hats because I know how to do this and I know how to do that and then I'm good at this I may not be good at that that all shows in my work okay you know what I'm saying so I, I just, it's just individually depends on the person okay like, and how deep you're into what you're See, doing and that's why I was saying like like with me it's different because right. I actually seen it. From yeah. this to that, you know what I'm saying? You don't feel so, like they're paying homage, that's what it is. Really, I think I mean, um, the, necess- the necessity in media right now, I think it's just more like um, it's like loyalty. Okay. And then like right now, everybody's in a place where everybody wants to be a boss. Okay. So everybody wants to be the director, they want to call the shots, and it's like... The problem is, is like people want titles and they don't even put in work. Okay. Ooh. So it's like, mm. yeah, let, let, let the Ruger you know spray. Nah, don't no spray here, 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 here. on Ring TV. Yeah. Let the Ruger spray. I don't want to let that Ruger like, spray, son. Nah, nah, don't hold that. Don't hold that. I'm not gonna say that. You gotta get hurt sometimes, man. Come on, you You bring the Holy Spirit out, me. No, I said this before. I said it before. It's like it's too many chiefs and not enough Indians. You feel me? So it's like let's work together. And then do this thing, and then we could all make our solo careers. Right. You know what I'm saying? But let's get popping first. Right. Let's let's get hot. Like let's stop. Right. Just, he? I'm too cool for you, shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? What? And really build with each other. So like, I was telling Remo, I got here early because I was like, yo, he called everybody here to be here. I'm not gonna, you know what I mean? There's gonna be egos and stuff like that. But I think it was dope 
for him to bring everybody here and talk about it because there is a lot of trials and tribulations and you know your own family will like diss you and not even promote your shit but they'll be in your stories all day these niggas will be in your stories and won't like shit i'm like it, get off. Because like, unfollow me, block me, get the fuck out. Because unfollow me. Yo, if you don't like me, unfollow me now. Like, honestly, un too. unfollow me now, bro. Listen, let Straight me tell up. you. Let me tell you. That, that's Next. Two, two. Next. Everybody want to be chiefs, right? So, like, say, for instance, like, when I when I was building up and, like, I started working, people was like, okay, she getting a little buzz. It was a, you know, you got to keep your momentum. So, it was a little period where I'm just, like, everywhere. You're going to see my work on everybody page, everybody reposting. That's when I started having random supporters, but you gotta be careful. Cause there's people out here that they wanna be around you and support you, but they just trying to watch what you do, pretend, and then all of a sudden they gone. Yeah. And they just, you gotta protect your energy in this game. Because right. motherfuckers are trying to take what they can from you and then they start doing it. Instead, you should have stayed around and built with me because you could have learned more. You only took Friends, a family. half, you took a half of a niche of five that ain't shit. I'm, I'm gonna eat the whole thing, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. I'm, like, that's one thing that annoys me is cause I'll get all these females and they just want to be around you because you're popping, or they feel like you're popping, or you're in the mix. You know what I'm saying? But, but they, 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 they won't walk through the mud with you, though. Yeah, they they want the champagne. Because, because they want the, the red carpet, the limo. Oh, everybody so everybody <laughs> wants to cheer and celebrate when they know a winner. Right. You know what I'm saying? You gotta saying? stay down. Right. Nobody, stay wants, down. To be there. Stay strong Nobody to wants to be there when your head's down because you're losing. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So once, once you know that, that's what it is, and you move accordingly. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I've I, I've always been like that. Like, whether it's 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 the rapping, the the uh, production, or the media now. You know what I'm saying? You keep everybody's at arm length. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And let them prove they value to you. Right. And as they prove they value, and not just once or twice, but it got multiple be, times. It got to be variations. It has to come, and it has to come constantly. Like. Build it. Right. Like, like me and Remo meet and and build. Mm -hmm. Won't associate, won't bring, won't be like, yo, I got to try to come or no. We're gonna just build. When I see you, I see you. I'm gonna see how you how you respond and when I see you right. somewhere. Right. Like where I'm at. Right. I wanna see how you flow with your energy then. If you like, oh yo, what's up, bro? I, bro, 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 bro come over, chill, let's get a drink. Da, da, da. Okay, now now I know. Okay, he, he's, a, he's a good dude. Let me yeah. see where he's going with this. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you let people prove themselves to you. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people in the media world, or the, or the rap, you know what I'm saying, they do their thing and they think automatically that they're supposed to get support. Hell no. And, nah, that's true, and true, followers. True. You know, they think that they're automatically, just because you're doing something, you think automatically people are going to jump on. People are going to do what they're going to do. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got a schedule in life. You just got to let them play. You keep like, doing your yeah. thing and let them play to play themselves and see what they have. Say, hey, yo, hey, Mo Berry, yeah, Mo Berry, yeah. Get, get in this, get in this, Mo Berry. Come on. No, I was just going to add that. I also think that people need to just be a little bit more humble with their stuff. Okay. Like, I've, I've just come across so many people, you know, it, it's great, like, you're a great videographer, you're a great, you know, content editor, editor whatever it may be, but... I've come across people who just like, they shit don't think. And it just, that really gets me. Because it's like, you don't understand that your attitude and just how you handle yourself and how you interact with other people, that is going to determine how far you really do get. You know, and mm -hmm. I just feel like people, you know, they just got to humble themselves a little bit more and just understand that this game is not easy. Mm -hmm. It's not easy what people do. And, you know, I just think, think the ego just, just needs to come down just a bit. Just, just, that just, that's just I, something that I was talking about. Jack, Jack, go ahead. Go Jack. But, say, but say, I yeah. think also, I think also with what you're saying, it's on, it's based on, on a perception of a person. Because you got some people, like, the way they move and they work is not necessarily coming off like they're not being humble. Like, you got to believe so hard in yourself that you just know facts. It don't matter what I touch, I'm going to be good. Sometimes I've been through that where it can rub off on people the wrong way. I'm not out here showing both, showing off. I'm just sorry. I believe in my ass so much. Yeah, my ass don't think. You feel me? Like, that's yeah, yeah, how yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I'm going to put energy and everything yeah. to me. No, that's I'm, how saying I'm, that. I'm just saying there's a difference between uh, what, what's the word? Arrogance confidence. and confidence. Yeah. That's but just, that's based on a person's perception. That's right. right. Because, like, I, like, I exactly understand what you're saying. Yeah. Like, you can walk in a room and everybody can look at you 
and you know you you so confident in yourself, but people who aren't that confident on the same level of confidence you are, it's gonna rub the wrong fucking way. Yeah. It's gonna rub the wrong fucking way. But I have come across people who are so great at what they do and their confidence is just so awesome. But they're still humble. I can still talk to you and look right. you in the eye, face to face. I, I don't feel like you just be, like I, I don't get that it's energy. It's because from of that you. time. It's because of that time that they put in paying them dudes. Yeah. That they Ooh. understand. Yeah, that's what I feel like. <laughs> this, they this, understand. This, this culture it's a lot understand. of people. Yeah, exactly. This that culture now, like a dudes. lot of people doing yeah. things now, haven't paid dues. Right. They have skipped and jumped over a lot of things because. They was put in a position now that they got a position, whatever, like whatever, a like, little, little, little bit of work they did, somebody they know, like, put, them, put them in the spot yeah, yeah. where they have this opportunity and now they're moving and it's like, okay. Everybody and then they're looking at you like, Kardashian. you know what I'm saying, you ain't getting <laughs> shit. And, and I, have, I have a thing of what I always talk about, whether, whether it's, um, whether it's, uh, uh, Journalists yeah. or entertainers yeah. or artists yeah. is that today there are more opportunists yeah. than there are actual people yeah. creating something that's going to last yeah. some time. Yeah, as like, media saying? people, we, we're gonna, gonna last forever. They want to be around. Content like when I was in film school, I remember my professor. I can't remember your name. I'm so sorry, but my professor, uh, I went to like one of those trade schools or film, whatever, like eight months or whatever, and um. He told us, like, this years ago, he was like, in the next 10 years, the internet is going to take over. He was like, so whatever y'all doing, remember, content creators, we're, we're, we're needed. This is running the world since before we were born. But it comes through entertainment. It comes through all aspects. Like, y'all need to respect the shooters. Y'all need to re respect anybody that's providing the the fucking content because we're the most valuable people. We're keeping you guys you relevant. Know, you do know why it feels great, right? Because of the Great Depression, and like the film was the only thing that to keep that gave us that took away from the sadness and yeah. murder and sadness. So that hey, let's make film with people dancing and laughing, and it just grew from there and there. And now we have now we got this. Yeah, now we have this. <laughs> and it's better because there's so many outlets. Like so many people, you can go to, on YouTube, right? Wow. And you can whoever you want to watch and That's see, you I can watch. see. Everyone has their own shows. On the internet, they do this. I really think. I just think people. And it's even TV kids. shows are moving to the internet. Like that's they're gonna lose their platform. I, I just feel like these major oh, networks might eventually probably lose their Well, they can handle it because I feel like you know, like older people, like they still have to run programs yeah. like, for people who are stay at home moms and you know things right. like that. Those mean. certain things are just never so going to So far, will never. I knew they keep bringing in new people with the same names. Like, yeah. I knew ever. the day that they stopped doing Saturday morning cartoons. That's when I knew TV was dead. Once they stop selling with the cartoons, that's the only day you can have the whole day, world. Watch TV. Yeah. You and your kids you can that. sit in front of a TV from be 7 in the morning. And be a kid. Yeah, to be a kid from that's 7 in the morning to 12 o'clock in the evening to watch cartoons on Fox and WB. Once they get rid of that, I knew TV was dead. Like, once they get rid of that, Everyone's going to have a show now. Because I go on YouTube and I see little kids. Oh, I the that. little kids. Like, my little kids are selling clothes. My niece got a show, and I was in the I'm in the room, and I can hear her in the back recording my cake, hey, tuning in. This is brown. Yes. And I was like, and we're gonna teach you how to make this lemonade, and da -da. yeah, and she getting views. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just the way it's moving. It's opportunity for everybody. Like they just need to respect us. That's what I think. Like yeah. everybody needs to respect no, how that, that, that's facts. That's facts. People I, kind of ruined the whole YouTube. Because I want to say talent too. We're gonna feel like there is no talent. Yeah, there's very few talents. There's very few talents. That's hard. That's, that's why I said. That's why I said there are opportunists now. Who ain't? Can't, they, they just all hide in the way. They're using things to make themselves. Yeah, but if you don't really have it, you're not ill. No one's gonna fuck with you. But it could be strategic. I look at everything. It could be strategic. Maybe yeah. some, you got some people that's gonna hop on certain ways go just to get their little ride. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, no offense, ladies, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm no tired of seeing tutorials on how to do makeup and hair. It's just <laughs> but there's so, so many different ways. There's so many it's different running. ways to do makeup. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm it's just a million different ways. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just, and how many of you will be tired? Not to disrespect the ladies. I love you. But see, this is once again is that like a lot of girls like you know 
that's doing that on, on YouTube and everything, they really don't have the knowledge of makeup. Well, that's not true. No, 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 no. Because I'm going to break it down right now. Like, well, my girl. girl, 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 girl. She would do bridal showers, uh, you know, all type of stuff and go and do it. And this is before it got into the YouTube phase. Sure. And she actually stopped doing makeup because of YouTube. Damn. Because she felt that she wasn't needed no more because everybody could do it themselves. No, no, no I'm serious. And no, I used to tell her. She used to tell her. I used to tell her. And I used to tell her. Like, so many people do it. So many different bone structures. Like, so many different. But but see, knows it. but, but, like, but see the it, thing is like, though, is so with, with, with the fact of with the fact of is that yeah, there's I'm not gonna people, go with the makeup. There's different child. looking yeah, people. There's that. different this and there's different <laughs> yes. that. But everybody feels I can do it. They should myself. I feel like people should. Okay, all right, come on. I'm about to get you with this. Bravo, I can't help you on this one, brother. That's why I'm behind the camera. I say, I'm Dave. Fighting. I'm fighting. People are trying to be famous off being clowns and, and robbers. And I think that shit is so corny. Like, I think a lot of people, like, I seen people blow up that I know that were, like, cool. And then they just were clowns after that and became famous just to get their views up They're and stuff like souls. that. And then the other thing what he was saying is, like, I think everybody has to believe, like, they could do something. You know what I mean? Because if you don't believe, like, they, like you were saying before, you shouldn't have people to support you. So then... If you don't want people to support you, you got to believe that you can do something good. And if you don't got talent, you got to figure it out. If you don't go into school, you got to YouTube it. Right. You got to figure that out or get around people that know how to do that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is, is like for the kids, the younger culture, mm -hmm. um, they they do their thing. Right. But know your history because then you're going to speak to OG like Hove or or, or, um, or 50 or Diddy. They're going to want you to know your history because they don't want you to be a clown rapper that's going to make a couple of hits and then disappear. And then that's where the longevity comes in. But people right. take me too far, though. I ain't made my, my group go on to the middle of Times Square. Hey, <laughs> no, 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 I know. He's so he 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 That's kind of belittling a little bit. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. To a degree, but, but, I get, but I get where Dave is coming from. I think most importantly, I've, and, and this is my assessment thus far, with being a media content um, creator as well as a videographer and in production, I feel, you know, one should at least know the basics of it, you know what I'm saying? Because when you're coming into this culture, me, I'm, I'm, I'm heavy about the culture. Period. You know what I'm saying? I'm heavy. I'm like, oh, listen, I have no problem telling somebody that's coming up, A, B, C, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Do you feel a lot of times within our culture, as far as the the media culture, do you feel like people are, are trying to hide away the info on a competitive level? Yes. Or do you yeah, feel yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, or do and you feel it's more, do you feel it's more like, I right, fuck this nigga. I'm just about me. That's who wants to take one? Who wants to touch on that? I'm talking about that loyalty shit. Okay. I, I'm a videographer. I'm right. a kind of videographer. Like, I know everything about, not everything, but I know cameras, I know angles, I right. know shooting, I know anything. If somebody has never held a camera, but they use a cell phone, shoot everything, like, yo, I can do anything because I have a cell phone. Like, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. If you okay. ever use an old school Polaroid camera or an old Canon or Nikon camera to shoot a film, then you can't get yourself a real videographer or, or a camera person. A photographer, if you only using a cell phone, like that's you may take some good pictures, but that's not real. Okay, the technique, what the if, technique, yes, what if cell yes, phones phones talk on that. The number one device for making movies, it and a person be, came and be. said, Oh, well, still, I it's still would you phone. consider, yeah, but but this is what I'm gonna have to shoot. Yeah, 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 yeah. What if a cell phone became the number one used device? To, to film the best movies, to um, make the best shows and things of that nature. And a person who never, hold on, who never used the camera, mm -hmm. but they're like, oh, wow, yeah, this is true. Like, I'm doing my thing, blah, blah, blah. Would you consider them not a videographer, too? I'm still saying no, because the thousand thou 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 things you can do yeah. with the camera, I'll show you. It's a generation. Just ask it's it's a generation. Next oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 oh,
get it. No, get it. No, 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 no
know how the fuck I'll be. You know, now you're stuck. Now you're stuck because you're only used to it. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing that you can film with that. It's good. But it's not going to make you great. You just it won't to... make you legendary. Yeah, Dave, 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 yeah, Dave, yeah, yeah. speak in, speak in, Dave. I like, I won't know how to use that camera, right? But I know if they pay me a certain amount, I could pay this guy that knows how to use that camera to do that. But I tell him what I want to see, though. Tell him your vision. 50 cents is the best he said. I don't have a college degree, but the people that work for me do. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, But it took 50 knowing. Yeah. You still had to learn things. Yeah, yeah, you got to learn things. You still things. had to learn yeah. things to, to go to yeah, that's people the street. and be like Facts. that. And, as, and, believe me, the best and believe me, and believe me, don't get it twisted. Yeah. 50 got those people that know this and know that, but don't think he not studying the shit. Cause yeah. Why? Yeah. That's because his saying. thing is, to for me to be in charge, I got to know shit. Mm-hmm. He did write right. 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 I wait, we gotta speak your beast right now. We, we, we was getting heavy. I mean, you got here a little late, but it's all good. I'm so glad you went to build your op, man. You know, you and I, we had our talks, man, about this culture, man. We, yo, speak about it, man. What, what you feeling about it, man? Speak about it, bro. I just, I just blocked everybody out. Uh, <laughs> you know I know I mean, bro. Early. <laughs> that's For real. And, and you already know, like, I always spread information. I sit there at the event, chop it up with whoever. Like, I see him, messed up, see you. I see her. She came for me last time I saw her. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But nonetheless, man, you know, we definitely touched on, you know, the technology aspect. You know, we talked on spreading the information. Let's really get to the business part of it, son. Because I feel that's what's lacking, you know, with our, with our culture. Both the independent music or whatever and the actors and the web series. And for us, that what we do to support that, as far as being the videographer, being the editor, being the directors, being the writers, or whatever have you, like, what's 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 the disconnect? Who wants to touch on that? Like, what's how can we pinpoint the disconnect that's going on with the business? Yeah, right. Dave, what you want to talk on that? Speak on that. Everybody can do it. You know what I'm saying? It's like anybody could buy a DSLR camera and just and and. Do a film, so okay. And then everybody fronts like they're a videographer. And, like he was saying, like they ain't really about that. And then they they pull up with a celebrity, and then they can't pull off anything because they don't know how to do that. So it's like shit is affordable right now, and you got all these apps and all this stuff like you guys were saying before. So everybody could do it, and everybody's claiming it. Okay. And it's like hard to like really pinpoint the prices because every you know what I mean. There's people to be like, oh. I'll do it for you for $50. Uh-huh. And then you got that issue, and then you're trying to charge 200 This guy's charging 50 Where you think that person's going to go? They don't know no better. You know okay. what I mean? You don't know if they're taking them pictures off somebody else's stuff. Or, yeah, work this is, is a lot of shit. Like, people right. don't believe whatever, like he was saying. So, uh, so who, so... Can we, like, how how can it be, how can it be pinpointed? Like, who wants to talk to them? Like, who, how can we get it back to where you have to respect it? Because, you know... Granted, me and my team, I ain't going from we 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 up and coming and shit like that. And I, and I had a meeting with my team. I was letting my team know. I'm like, yo, don't go crazy with the price, but still yeah, name a price. Normal. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't tell niggas three thousand because now you putting the pressure on us. We got to give niggas three thousand. Now we got to put three thousand dollars worth. You get what I'm saying? So I would tell I would tell them like I would tell them like, yo, listen, here's here's what we could do, but in the same token. It doesn't hurt to go pro bono, but don't let it be pro bono every time. All right, who wants to touch on that? Where should you cut, make your cut like cutoff point as far as that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, what? Like my thing is, I'm like, can you show me some work, like some some past right. work that you've done? If you're right. trying to charge me even seven hundred dollars, be blowing my mind. I'm like, listen, if you're going to charge me $700, can I see some $700 right. products? Right. Can I see some time? Time my, because... My, 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 yeah. Why? No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's no, t- hard. Uh, Matt first, and then we're going to okay. get Shantae. Matt first, and then Shantae. Go okay. ahead. If you're a rapper or an actor and you want me to film with 4K footage, you know how hard it is to render it. To render it. It's a long time. You, you know what shit I got to go through? I got a trick with that, but I'll tell you that after. It's off camera. So if you pay me, for 4K footage, then I'm gonna pay you. 
I'm going to ask for a little bit more because that's a lot harder for me to edit. Oh. So it's not necessarily about, like, like your resume is about, like, yeah, time and effort. Yeah. Mm-hmm. HD 1080, that's simple. Ain't the life expenses. You got to add all that up. Traveling. Yeah, but it's just time. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, to be honest, I really don't care about yeah. mm-hmm. stuff like that. It's the time because my time, is, you, you can't get back time. So that's mm-hmm. why I charge more for the time it takes for, for me to give you the product. Right. So if I'm doing a normal HD music video, whatever, I tell people, I go off of your budget. Okay. Your budget. I, I don't make my own tab because everybody has certain situations or yeah. problems. Right. So if you only have $100, I'm going to work with that. If you have $1,000, I'm going to work with that. I go off the budget that you have set. Don't bullshit me, but at least be honest yeah. and give me your yeah. budget. Like, I've done shit for people for free and still giving them for nice quality work. work. High quality work. And then people give me a thousand dollars. I still give give them the best for their money. So mm-hmm. I go off of their budget. Okay. That's Tay. I charge. Tay, t- 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 yeah, talk on oh, it. I was going to say, uh, my husband, he's a film director. And okay. And I watch what he does all the time. And just to make a minute video, it's like <coughs> hours. Whoa! You have to go through footage. Whoa! And then you... <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> And you have to do certain things, and then sometimes it's like, oh, I love it, but can mm. you just, you gotta, you know, oh, add yeah, something, bro. take it out, you know, like it's just, it's, it's really, really, really a lot. And as for me, um, I do, I still do free work. Okay. Um, and if I have a certain relationship with you, I'll just say, you know, can you just put such and such in my pocket? Like, right. You know, like certain <laughs> things like that. And, right. Um, but I'm still like building prices and things. I haven't gotten that deep with it yet because yeah. right now everything's still like a passion. Okay. Yeah. Right. So it's right. Like, okay. it's right. Like Speak drive. on it. Like I want right. to do the story anyways. So, right. Uh, that's pretty much, you know, where I'm with it. Right let's go, let's go, let's yeah, ah, big ah, what up, man? Ah, you know what I mean? Yo, ah, you're not shimmy, 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 shimmy. All TV, word. Yeah, word, facts. Ah, speak, what up, ah? Speak, ah, what up, man? Everybody think their camera was when they buy a camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Come to me to edit it. Uh-huh. And it's like you only want to edit somebody else's work. Yeah. Right. Right, yeah, nah. I don't I like editing other people's work. It's it's, it's go it'd be, it'd be different because like yeah. you already envision how you gonna shoot it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now if the angles ain't right, mm-hmm. they gotta yeah. sit with you really. Like if you don't sit with the person, yeah. So, yeah, especially if you it's wanted to edit it. So, so, with so yeah, is it with together. that and also with I'm I'm asking. Yeah, 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 definitely. With them shooting with their eye, and then they want you to edit, and now you edit, it makes it look like you're not so good, because yeah. now you got to put together yeah, somebody yeah. else's yeah. shit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because like, the way I shoot it, so I already know how, how I wanted it on, mm-hmm. the, on the timeline when you're chopping it. Mm-hmm. That's that's the key, because I notice like, sometimes when I, shoot, yeah. when I shoot my work, like I because I have to figure it out all on my own, so when I'm shooting, if I'm out, like I can already see, okay, Okay, this is how I'm going to shoot this, shoot that. So then when I do go into editing, it's like in my head, I already yeah, know really what I got. So yeah. I'm like, pull this, pull this, pull this, yeah. chop it up, flip it. But it does make a big difference yeah. Yeah. when someone else is shooting. Because I didn't work with, I didn't work with you. Like yeah, I didn't work facts. with a lot of people facts. and I'll have them shoot for me. Yeah. And it, it, I can tell them a hundred times how to do yeah. it. And it don't turn out right. And they're just like, fuck. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Because like, yeah. everybody's eye is different. Mm-hmm. Like but not saying... This person's not good, or you're better, or whoever. It's at the end of the day, we all see shit completely yeah. different. different. As an artist, unless you got, you just got the team of people. That's where it comes with building your team. You can build a team where you guys can all come together and make the shit happen. Yeah, sure. oh, they come back with it. Like, it'd be like dope. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, I, like, I, I know what you do. You do. You do. So I could be at a venue and work around y'all. Right. Like, I go to places. I be filming and. People are dead stand right in front of me. Dead. Yeah, no, disrespectful shit. Like, we gonna touch on that later on. Camera, like, we gonna touch on that. that. What do y'all feel about? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, bro, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Okay, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. About the business too. Also, same thing as what she said about you know the passion. Right. And um, we did our show for two years and then charged nobody. Right. Straight two years, then charge nobody. And I mean, we had celebrity, celebrity guests.